Alright guys, what's up? It's currently 7 a.m. right now and it's still kind of dark outside, so that's why I'm recording in my room. But uh, I have a really special treat today. Uh, it might be a treat for some, but I don't think the majority is really going to like what I'm about to say. But <sighs> I'm taking the cats off today. Oh no! God! No! God, please, no! 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 Okay, I get it, I get it. It's gonna be raspy, it's gonna be obnoxious, all that other stuff. Uh, I'll dive deeper into why I'm gonna do it, so let's just go ahead and get the cold start and then I'll head back in the car. That automatic life. Now, for a lot of people, they would be really satisfied on how that car sounds. And don't get me wrong, I do love my setup. I just, I'll explain it when I get into the car. All right, so basically, the reason why I'm changing my exhaust is just because I feel like every car enthusiast has gone through a phase where they want their car to be ridiculously loud. And I feel like that's where I'm at right now. I've had this set up for a little over a year now. So it's not like I've grown tired of the sound because I love the way how it sounds right now. But I'm just very curious to see how it sounds catless. And I want to see if I can just conquer the catless setup as well as I conquered the catless setup, if that's even possible in a V6. So, um,. I know a lot of people aren't going to like that I'm taking the cats off the car because, you know, it's going to be really raspy and whatnot. And I'm going to try my best to eliminate the rasp with other mods uh, down the road. But just for now, I just think it'll just be really fun uh, <laughs> and obnoxious because, I mean, like, it's, it's more like a young car enthusiast sort of thing. Like, pretty sure when you're older and stuff, like, uh, you just you really care about like how your car sounds like I care how my car sounds But at the same time, I just want to experiment with it and just have fun with it overall and At the end of the day, it's still my build and I'm still gonna do whatever makes me happy You shouldn't you shouldn't do your build or anything in life in general just to make other people happy You should just be happy with what you got and just make the best of it and that's pretty much the essence of owning a v6 or any other any other car that a lot of people don't like necessarily so that's my word of advice i'm going to fast forward to when i get to where i get to and then and then we'll see what happens from there all right all right, so I made it to the spot. I saw a couple of pipes and stuff in there. So he's got a nice little setup back here. It was in the cut. I couldn't find it. It was like in between two buildings. I have to show y'all when I'm leaving. I was having trouble finding it, but I found it. And uh, he's got a couple old school cars. There's one over there. There's one around the corner back there. I'll have to show y'all when I get out. But uh, yeah, looks like a cool guy. All right, cool. I was looking for your building. I was like, I was looking for a I was like, they were like, oh, is it between those buildings? I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? How much? Um, I was just going to take another few minutes and drive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take off. your time, man. Yeah, if you want to just, um, yeah, just back up a little bit so I don't, I don't want to get it cleaned up a little bit. This one's a little too small. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, he seems like a cool guy. gives us time to look at the other old school if you didn't see my previous uh, video there was a run to the sun's meet that I went to and uh, there's a whole bunch of old cars like this one here I just love cars y'all like old new like I just love cars I may not recognize every car but I'm down to learn anything about cars so I'm gonna let him finish up over there I'm gonna get a little sneak peek inside here. Hopefully he doesn't mind. Nice little shop. Very discreet. So whenever he's done with uh, using the leaf blower and whatnot, uh, we're gonna get the car on the lift and then we're gonna go from there.
yeah, got the short tubes, goes to the cats, and then from here, it's just the mid muffler back. I didn't realize that uh, that this is 2.25 piping, and then from the mid muffler, it's two and a half. So yeah. it kind of got a, a increase in sound. Yeah, they changed sizes in them. Yeah. Like uh, I see how they did that. That's normally where the right the muff the resonator go back here. Yeah, the, the mufflers will be right here, and then the resonator is pretty much where the mid muffler is at. Okay. Yeah. Nothing different. Yeah. But it keeps you from buying two. Mm-hmm. Doing the double end go around. All right, so we got the first cat off. The cat's over there. The cat's right there, and he's bending the pipe to replace it right now. Can't really see, it's kind of dark, but he's uh, bending the, the new pipe that'll make shift for where that cat was right there. So the install is going very smoothly. He's kind of surprised how smooth it's going right now, which is great for me. So that'll be less time in the shop, less money to spend, easy labor, easy money, everybody wins. So um, like I said, first, first uh, pipe's getting installed and uh, shouldn't be too much longer, probably like another uh, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, where we get the other one on, and then we finally get to see how it sounds. Catless. I'm so nervous, bro. I'm really nervous because it's gonna be so loud but so raspy at the same time. And uh, but yeah, this is what this is this is what modding is for. It's for the fun. It's for the the curiosity. It's for all that good stuff. So I'm happy at the end of the day. So got my sunflower seeds chilling out here. So I'll check back in with y'all when we get the other one off. All right, so the car is done. I'm I'm so nervous to see how it sounds. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so nervous. I I imagine it'll sound good like low RPMs, but high RPMs, that's when it's really gonna. Yeah, it's probably when it's gonna. Really yeah. And that's why the South Carolina Department of Veterans Affairs. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. That was about four. Four RPM? I, I don't even want to rev it to six. <laughs> Jeez. This thing is so loud. I'm definitely gonna need some resonators on this joint. But uh, <laughs> it's so loud, y'all. The drone's not even that bad either. I got my seat down too, so it'll probably be a lot quieter. Well, I mean, I'm in six right now, so. Uh, but, <laughs> oh, they put my seatbelt on. I got too excited and hopped in the whip. Probably, I'm definitely gonna have to throw some resonators on here. Uh, it only charged me a hundred bucks, so hey, that's definitely gives me some more leeway when I come put the 
resonators on. I do love how it sounds downshifting though. Oh, it sounds so good downshifting. We just need to work on that upper RPM. We need some new flybys. But uh, <laughs> this is definitely an experience. I I have to let it sit in for like a week before I get my verdict, but I probably definitely, I don't think I'm gonna go back Catalyst, but I definitely throw some resonators on here. That'll help a lot. But uh, yeah, I like it. Low key, low key, high key. Oh my gosh, y'all heard that? I just went under the bridge, bro. Oh. oh my God. All right, so right now I'm gonna be meeting up with one of my friends, Fredo. He's in the Tribe 6 group with me. So he has a V6 also. He has long tube headers, X-pipe, and I forgot what type of muffler he has. So he's he's obviously real excited that I got my, I'm catless now. So we could do like a catless, shorty header versus long tube header sort of exhaust sort of thing and i want to hear his take on my exhaust so whenever i get there i'll let y'all see oh shit, he's here already i literally just parked that's crazy let me turn my lights off all right we're good that's crazy he literally just pulled up when i pulled up that boy fredo what's up boy what's up Lagoon? you got some more tattoos nah oh this is more time. okay yeah, washed mine yesterday. Still got that tin on them headlights. Looking good, Fredo. Oh, I need my windshield tinted ASAP. And I need my roof wrap. I took off the packs. I finally took them off. You wanna hear our sounds? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh. I know, right? Yeah, you got the Eurotelex. Yeah, got a couple things done to the car, man. Let's show the people what yours sound like. What you, oh, so you have long tubes, X-pipe, and what's the muffler? Uh, outlaws. Outlaws. <laughs> Does mine sound like ear rape? <laughs> a little bit. Yours just just yours just pierces my ear. I don't, I don't know why. It's crazy. But uh, yeah. So, which setup you like better, mine or yours? I mean, I I, I like the tone of yours. Yeah. But then I like the loudness of mine. Okay. I'm still not done with the exhaust. I'm gonna do a couple more things to it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do um. Uh, I'm planning on switching the freaking. The outlaws. Yeah. Yeah. To um. Either the S types, uh huh, the Borla S types, yeah, or uh, or just regular Roushes, but I'm not sure because either way, I'm gonna I'm go quad tips. Oh shit, got my boy Austin here in the three valve. <laughs> I'm excessive now, too. I want to hear it. <laughs> How long we got? I got you for. Uh, a couple minutes. I gotta go back to lunch. Okay. Right, well, I gotta get back to work in a little bit. All right. I'll make it fast. It still sounds the same. It's just louder. Louder. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yes, sir. 
Bro, you should hear it when I'm like, I when bet. I'm driving. There's so many pops now, like. This will get you in trouble. <laughs> so many pops. Dang, I might. I don't know who who. I might be top top two top three when it comes to loudness now. I don't know. <laughs> All right, man. Get back. Don't want to get you in trouble. I mean, I bought lunch for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy how this is only. This is not even like 10% of the group. Like, there's so many people in the group. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's gonna do a pull coming this way. them pops man that's that three valve <laughs> oh my gosh that sounds so good not gonna lie <laughs> oh my gosh uh, <laughs> It's so loud. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. <sighs> I'm having fun, y'all. I'm having too much fun, actually. Too much fun. This is when this is when trouble tends to happen when you're having too much fun. Then the local authorities tend to get in the way. those pops man uh, this this gas price increase is killing me not gonna lie switch it over to my economy too whenever I leave here Let's try to save a little gas the camera's about to die hold on all right so it's the next day my camera died so that's why I'm here right now Back to basically where I started beginning of the video but anyway y'all heard the exhaust y'all heard the burbles the pops and all that other stuff the loudness so let me know what you feel like in the comments uh, how do you feel like the car sounds did you like how it sounded before do you like how it sounds now uh, are you waiting for me to actually finish everything I'm doing with the exhaust because I'm not done yet uh, for y'all who don't know I'm not done with the exhaust I still have a couple things I want to do to the exhaust but uh, just for right now, if you want to, you can judge it how it sounds now. Tell me if I need to add this or add that. Um, I'm always down for uh, constructive criticism. So anyway, me personally, I do like how it sounds. Uh, it sounds like, I don't know. I can't even. I've been getting a lot of GTR comparisons. Um, I haven't heard a GTR in person. I've only seen them. I've seen them, but I never heard them. Um, and I've always heard them on videos and it's kind of hard to like judge a video with like you have to take, you have to take the mic mic uh, quality into question and all that other stuff so um but a lot of people are saying GTR uh, so if it sounds like a GTR that's that's dope because <laughs> GTRs are like up there you know and I just have a, a little V6 American car sounding like a, a performance import so it is what it is uh i do love this i do love my exhaust i love my car and it's not even i'm not even like i'm like touching the surface as far as mods go i still have a long way to go as far as mods go yeah i probably won't be the fastest but it's definitely a fun car to drive i'm not gonna lie uh, I have no regrets so far, um, but like I said, it's a process. The exhaust is not done. I'm adding some more stuff to the exhaust as we speak. So with that being said, I'm going to end the video. Like, share, subscribe. V6 still exists.